Well, it's very exciting for all those Blue fans, for all the football fans, because we love a father-son story, and we've got Jack Silvani, who his first game of the season was on fire, on track to win the Brownlow medal. Now the season's not on. So what's happening, Jack? You going well? <laughs> no, going well. Um, just buying my time in isolation, waiting for the footy to come back and trying to fill my time. So I'm playing plenty of, plenty of PlayStation and got some uni work and whatnot. So yep. I'm filling my time well. So, do you actually live on your own, or is it, do you live, still live at home? I'd live at home if no. I'm recently, recently moved out, so mm-hmm. um, yeah, I bought a house probably uh, two or three months ago now, and um, yeah, I'm on my own, which is good. I'm enjoying the serenity. <laughs> What's your specialty dish when you have to cook, which is every night? <laughs> um, well, I've got plenty of time, so I've been trying some new things uh, in the kitchen. But I love a steak. I'm good on the barbie. I think that's that's me. Yeah, and, and what do you have with the steak? Do you go vegetables or you're more of a salad man? Salad, um, veggies, the lot. So I'm a big eater, so I have I have heaps. There's, um, there's always plenty to choose from at you, my house. You've got to eat a lot because you've got to fuel that body, especially when you've got a fitness trainer like Andrew Russell barking orders. He's tough, isn't he? He is, he is. But I get along with Jack, thank God. So, um, no, he looks after me and uh, he's, he's got us on a pretty strict regime down at the Blues. So uh, he's not one to be messed with, Jack. No, I did. I came down and watched um, the last session before Christmas and it went for about three hours and uh, the intensity was through the roof. The skill level was great. And that's when I thought, do you know what? The Blues are going to have a very good year. So the training standard has definitely gone up, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that was uh, something we spoke about towards the back end of uh, last year, and that was a that was a real controllable, something that we could uh, really take hold of throughout the preseason. And um, we knew that as that preseason went along, our fitness levels would progress. But if we brought an intent uh, to our training, that it would hold us in good stead for the season. Um, obviously, we got knocked off round one, and now we're sitting at home, but we feel like we've got a good base uh, under our belts that um, we can build on uh, for the rest of the year whenever we do come back. And what, what are you passionate about? Say if footy doesn't go on, so they go, okay, do you know what? Football's off for another three years. What, what are you going to do? What are you passionate about? What are you going to go out there and, and try and develop over those years if that was the case? Um, well, I'm, I'm studying at uni. Um, I've... I've uh, been doing a Bachelor of Commerce and Property double degree at Deakin um, and I've sort of been slowly getting my way through that. I, I deferred that and, and went to La Trobe last year to try out a Bachelor of Media and Comms. Um, so I've sort of been dipping my toe on a few things but I think more um, the property sort of streams for me. It's something I enjoy and take a keen interest in and obviously with um, sort of buying my own house I've sort of um, been looking at all at it all pretty closely, so uh, that's probably something I see myself fitting into in the future. All right, okay. So, well, give everyone some advice out there. Everyone's got some money, which is probably not the case at the moment, to uh, invest in an area in Melbourne somewhere. What pocket are you sending them to? Uh, I'm probably not well equipped enough with that knowledge just yet. Come but on, if have I a had crack. To choose, um, <laughs> What are we saying? Alfington, good area. Um, Alfington's Ivanhoe, yeah? Is that sort of Yeah, close to Alfington, Abbotsford, uh, Collingwood, a few good areas around there. So um, plenty of plenty of potential for the guys, go. I think. A Carlton player pushing Collingwood as a suburb, hey? Who would have thought? Hey, now what about your, your old man? I was lucky enough to go over to Ireland with the great Stephen Silvani and play some Gaelic footy. Uh, he was goalkeeper then, um, yeah. and he, he didn't want to be goalkeeper, but he was so good at throwing his body around. How's he going? Is he going all right? No, he's good. Um, he's annoying mum. Now he's got <laughs> nothing to do, um, but no, he's good. He's, uh, I think he's he's a lot more relaxed, and uh, he's mowing lawns now, which is quite strange. I've never seen him mow lawns before, <laughs> so um, no, he's, he's enjoying his time off, I think. Hey, and I grew up with your mum too when she was on Sale of the Century. And uh, do you know yep. what? You see her pop up on TV now and then doing the ad. She hasn't aged. She's incredible. What's the secret? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask her. I don't <laughs> want to say anything wrong in case I get in trouble. 
Uh, no, you've got uh, some great parrots. You've always yep. barracked for the Mighty Blues, haven't you? I have, yes. And uh, there's some amazing footage of 2013 in an elimination final where you are in the stands on the second level, very, very passionate, going unbelievably crazy after the Blues are doing really well. So it's always been in the blood, hasn't it? It has been. Um, I was I was unbelievably up and about that game. I reckon <laughs> it was a roller coaster for me because second quarter I'd, I'd cracked it, and I was as a kid I was like a crier when the Blues lost. So I was devastated. Um, so I reckon I said to Mum halfway through the second quarter when the Tigers kicked away, getting there about six goals up, that I was going to sleep. <laughs> and I had enough. And then we started to bring it back, and Juddy turned it on. And I was, I was off, and Jeff Garlett ran into that open goal, and that was it for me. I was wrapped. Yep, yep. No, very good. My son, I've got a son. Well, I've got four sons, but one is very much. He takes a loss to heart, and um, yeah. but when they win, he's up and about. So no, that's what happens. That's what happens when you've had a parent run around and play. I think the passion comes through.